I'm going to show you how to use this symmetrical six note shape taken right out of the middle of the pentatonic scale and use it two different ways over uh, a 12 bar blues, two different approaches. So that was the first way that I'm going to talk about what you just heard me do. What I'm doing is instead of playing, well, let's, let's start at the beginning. This is the first pentatonic scale, A minor pentatonic scale that many guitar players learn how to play out of this shape. And when it's taught, usually like it was taught to me, they say, well, this is an A minor pentatonic scale and it works great over that chord. And then if you want to play the blues, you can use that scale and kind of tweak that C note to sort of imply this C sharp note, and if you want to be sort of rock and rolly sounding with it, you could get away with that too. So the, it's implied that that particular shape is played with the root of the chord here on the fat string. Does it work? Yes. Have we heard it our whole lives? Yes. Has it been used in three million thousand songs? Yes. Here's another way to look at it, though. When you play those notes in the middle of the scale, starting right here on the fifth string, you have this pattern. Now, very interesting to me, the pattern starts on this note D on that note D. So it has to pertain somehow to some kind of D chord. Well, if we examine the notes a little more closely, you have D, the second or the ninth E, the fourth G, the fifth A, the minor seventh C sharp, and the last note is D again. Those notes go great against, actually, a D minor 7. Or against a D7. So that's my first pattern that I'm going to move for you through the 12-bar blues. That's for my D7, my E7, and then my A7. Put the loop on again, do it for you real quick, just those places. Here we go. first fingers on the root. Um, in the next lesson, I will show you how to move this shape across or starting from any string that's possible to start that pattern from. But I'm not going to do that in this video. The other way that um, I, I want to just go over real quick, but we've already learned this, is how to use it when the pattern is in the right place. Because uh, for these, this group of notes, so to speak, is actually your A minor pentatonic scale too, and it works perfectly over the A7. 
you just have to make a bigger deal of not starting and stopping on these end notes. As a matter of fact, pretty much the other notes, this one, this one, this one, and this one, especially if you bend it a little bit, sound great over your A7 or, or your A, yeah, your A7 chord. Um, so for A7, you're here. For D7, obviously. And E7. So uh, here's the track one more time. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed these past two videos, uh, I recommend that you watch the third one because in it, I teach you how to move this, what, what's been to me a hidden shape for so long, um, starting from every, every string uh, where it's possible to play a six note pattern. So have a great day, play a lot of guitar. Here's this example. Thank you.